For the first time tonight, we are hearing new details about one of the largest immigration raids in the nation's history. Three years after immigration authorities raided a bean station slaughterhouse, a federal judge now says a higher court could decide whether the federal agents involved should be held accountable after allegations of racism and abuse. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan shares the story of one family torn apart by the raid. They told me, you have been detained, and I asked why. An undocumented immigrant from Mexico, Victoria Contreras, worked as a meat packer at Granger County's Southeastern Provisions Plant. Immigration agents detained her and nearly 100 others in a 2018 raid, now the subject of a federal lawsuit. I think yes. We can say they were abusing their power. Contreras, who asked us not to show her face, says she saw agents hitting her boss with a baton. They drew their firearms at some people, and some of them were pulling people by their shirts or arms, and the workers were not doing anything wrong. She says she's not involved in the lawsuit, which also alleges agents only targeted people who looked Hispanic, punched one worker, and took a selfie with other detainees. It's traumatic, something that will not be erased. When we met Contreras a year after the raid, her case and her family were still in legal limbo. I don't want my mom to go to Mexico. Last year, without warning, that nightmare nearly came true. She says immigration agents detained her at a regularly scheduled check-in and would not let her talk with her three kids. They told me, no, no, you can't, you don't have rights. And I asked why, and they told me, you're illegal, you can't talk with your family right now. When she eventually got to a phone, her young son begged her to come home. No, mommy, mommy. After nearly two months detained, she did. I felt like I was born again. A federal judge allowed parts of the lawsuit to go forward and said, quote, racial discrimination has a long history in our country. Victoria Contreras wishes it wasn't that way. We are humans, and the beautiful thing would be if people would start looking at us as humans and not as weird or strange people, regardless of where we come from. Reporting from Granger County, I'm Cole Sullivan. This week, the U.S. District Court set a trial date for the case. A jury will decide whether to award workers damages in September 2022.